Hello and welcome to our discussion on preparation of financial statements when a set of business decisions are given we'll continue to convert the business decisions into financial statements then by seeing the financial statements we'll try to understand the financing decisions and investment decisions so let us take an example to understand that so this is the information given of an hypothetical company AB Limited with the following sources represented by plant stock and cash in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 then they have such certain set of transactions so the opening balance sheet shows capital the reserves capital reserves 12 percent loan creditors and supported by plant stock and cash and the plant is given at the net value so post or after depreciation after depreciation now with this opening balance sheet the company undertakes some transactions the transactions are the above for the company charges depreciation 20 percent and other expenses where other expenses were mm, so 20 percent depreciation so we'll start with that 20 percent depreciation so depreciation on the plant 20 percent so 0 0.20 so the value of the plant comes down to that extent the opening cash in hand available let us put that first before we take up any cash transactions then um, during the first quarter the company sold 50 percent of the stock at uh, a profit of 50 percent so they sold 50 percent of the stock so COGS 50 percent of the stock so point five zero and this stock is sold at a profit of fifty percent on cost so it is one point five zero so therefore the stock and the corresponding sales and entire sales is for cash entire sales is for cash and since you sold 50% the stock will be only balance will be available so 50% of the stock sold at 1.5 times that means at a 50% profit on this and entire sales is for cash so you receive the cash no debtors and uh, the entire uh, uh, stock which has been sold is reduced from this stock available as a result the stock is coming down to 150,000 the expenses other than interest and depreciation are 15% of sales expenses so expenses is 15% of the sales 0.15 no information given so let us make an assumption that entire expense has been paid so no outstanding expense um, depreciation and interest we already charge depreciation interest interest is an expense so interest is an expense interest on 300,000 at 12% and let us assume that we pay the interest fully during the period 36,000 interest paid off so since all the expenses taken care so this is the total expenses and income minus expense so there is a negative profit or loss so we will adjust that to the reserves so the reserves go down to that extent so the reserves have gone down and um, the company makes a distribution of dividend maybe from the old profits so therefore dividend 
we can take dividend is uh, 20 percent so 0 0.20 20 percent as a result the reserves will go down for to that extent so let me write down here this is for the year financial statements for the year financial statements for the year though the information is given that sales during the uh, sales during the quarter I think it's mentioned the sales during the first quarter so maybe we'll write down for the quarter for the Q1 if it is for Q1 the depreciation has to be for the quarter so divided by 4 the interest has to be divided by 4 interest has to be divided by 4 so the profit is uh, uh, is is 9700 9750 9750 is a profit and the dividend declared is 20000 we can is, is the dividend mentioned dividend is 100% of the dividend given so we should write down we should charge calculate into 100 so the dividend distributed is uh, 100,000 there's a reserves of 300,000 profit of 9,750 so the, the the available reserves after distribution of dividend is 209,750 so no further cash flows available so the total cash in hand will be 232 so the entire 232 250 will be shown on the balance sheet so let us the total of assets is 809,750 no change in the capital no change in the loan no change in the creditor so the total of the sources should also be 38,900 and 8, uh, 809,750 so with the opening balance sheet given the set of transactions given set of transactions given we prepared the closing balance sheet an income statement and a cash flow statement so let us see certain related items here we'll say equity of the company what is the equity of the company for the first year equity is capital plus reserves for the second year also capital plus reserves so equity we can find equity as capital plus reserves so equity is equal to capital capital plus reserves we can also find equity we can also find equity as assets minus liabilities so assets are eight hundred nine hundred thousand minus liabilities so equity for the first year and the second year respectively can be found either through the sources side or through the asset side similarly we can find capital employed capital employed is equal to equity plus long-term equity plus long-term debt so equity is hundred thousand plus three hundred thousand plus long-term debt and uh, or capital employed can also be found as total assets minus current liabilities so the total assets is 900,000 minus the current liability or we can so capital employed can also be determined either from the sources side 
or from the asset side either from the sources side or from the asset side so equity and capital employed so why do we need this equity and capital employed to understand the financing decision what percentage of the assets were financed by equity what percentage of the assets are financed by equity so equity is 400,000 the asset is 900,000 so 44 percent of the assets were financed by equity in the first year and in the second year is 38 percent of the assets are financed by equity because you have distributed dividend so the equity has come down to that extent what percentage of the business okay what percentage of the business of the assets what percentage of the assets were financed by capital employed or long-term sources the assets are the capital employed 700,000 total assets so in the first year 77 or 78 percent are financed by the long-term sources and in the second year it has come down to 77 from 77 to 75 percent of the assets are financed by the long-term sources so is current liability financing anything so what percentage of the what percentage of the assets were financed by were financed by the current liabilities the current liabilities your creditor divided by the total assets so 22 percent in the first year and and 25 percent in the second year were financed by the the the, the current liabilities so financing decision financing decision it will show how the assets have been acquired by using which source is it a long-term source or a short-term source so therefore given a set of business decisions given as the opening balance sheet it is possible to prepare the closing balance sheet and other relevant financial statements and from those relevant financial statements it's possible to understand the business decisions and understand some important uh, decisions like financing decisions of a company by observing the relationship between equity and the assets capital employed and asset current liability and assets